Uh, warning, graphic content on this video. My lawnmower whacked the head off of a snake. I would never intentionally uh, kill a harmless snake in my yard, but um, here we go. Uh, so here's a small snake. I haven't really looked it up, but we have a lot of corn snakes around here. We have got a lot of um, black king snakes, black rat snakes around here also, but that's not this. There's uh, corn snakes and a few other things like that. Uh, total it's about almost 24 inches, but a lot of it's just a little skinny tail and such. Um, well, I've got it. That's a nice fresh killed snake, not chewed by the dogs. I'm going to clean it up and um, cook up the meat. And for such a um, rustic activity, I figured I'd use my Kentucky Long Knife forged by Bright Forest Forge. Yeah, that's a plug because it's a beautiful knife. But it does have a sharp point, which I will need for this. So I am now an expert on this because I've watched part of one video. And all I'm going to do is slit it up the side of the skin with this knife. Oh yes, there's a sharp spot in the knife. The blade came with an edge but not sharpened. So the sharpness is, or lack thereof, is on me. I'm not an expert at sharpening blades. So I'm going to split the skin from one end to the other, um, peel off the skin, and go from there. Okay, I finished the slit all up the side, and I don't think I did it quite as cleanly as I would have hoped. There's a little bit of spillage of something there. That might ruin the whole thing, really, but we'll see. And I'm just, I've separated the skin from the flesh up here at the top and I'm just peeling it down like a sock or something. And then this little tiny bit at the tail end I'm just going to cut off. So after you've taken all the skin off, um, looks not unlike a skinned piece of fish. Um, kind of the opposite end of peeling the skin off is uh, you peel the guts out and you just work your fingers under it and you get a grip on it and then it just sort of all peels like that. Now here's that spot where I broke into something that's probably intestines and I probably wanted to avoid that. And then all the way down here. Let's see if I can recognize other tissues. Mostly just intestines. This really fatty stuff in the tail end probably has something to do with um, either, either ovaries and eggs or the sperm. I can't tell a boy from a girl snake. But considering how those things look kind of like a little droplets, I'm guessing that those are going to be turning into eggs or um, baby snakes, depending on whether it's a live bear species or not. Anyway, that's as much as you wanted to hear about the guts. What I've got now is this cleaned out, gutted carcass. There's that one little spot where I broke the intestines. I'm going to wash that really well, maybe cut out a chunk of that because that seems nasty. And it doesn't seem like a huge amount of meat. It's just like this thin shell, maybe a, a quarter inch thick. So we'll see what I can do with that. Well, anyway, I'm gonna cut off the video here. And that's the skinned, cleaned snake meat. And I'm gonna cook it up.